Good morning, Parkside. Welcome to this week's midweek encouragement video. Thanks for tuning in. Let me tell you what's encouraging to me this morning. Uh, I was reading in the book of Ephesians, and I was struck by Paul's prayer in Ephesians 3, verses about 14 through 21. If you read nothing else today, I would encourage you, I'd urge you to go back and read that prayer, Ephesians 3, 14 through 21. And Paul prays that we would have supernatural strength to grasp just how magnificent is the love of God. Uh, I find that encouraging and remarkable for this reason. It's not as if I muster up the love of God. It's not as if I muster up enough might in my mind or my soul to understand the love of God. No, it's a supernatural work to be able to grasp it. It's so great that there's no way I could do it on my own. <laughs> and God promises that he will. And so when Paul prays that, I think, man, Paul could muster it up, but if he needs the Spirit's work, then so do I. And that clarifies my life. It simplifies it in so many ways. Uh, like we talked about on Sunday, it frees me to lay my deadly doing down, down at Jesus' feet, to rest in him alone, perfectly complete. You know, the last two weeks, we've been talking about, uh, two weeks ago, the very powerful, creative word of God. And this past week, the importance of Sabbath rest as we walk through the book of Genesis. And it's important to see those um, disciplines, you might call them. I'd rather call them the habits of grace, of spending time in God's word, and of taking time for Sabbath rest. Uh, not as things that I can pull myself closer to God, but I'm just opening myself to God and letting him fill me instead of me trying to fill me. Think of it this way. Maybe it's a bit like uh, you turn on the lights in a bedroom. When you flip the switch on, that doesn't bring power to the room. You're just opening that room up to the power that's already been brought. It's already been provided. It's already been wired in. And by reading the Bible, by meditating on it, by taking time for Sabbath rest, you're just sort of turning on the lights, which saying, God, I'm opening myself up to your power. Please come and fill my life with your light. Or, or maybe it's like turning on the, uh, uh, what do you call it? Sorry, I'm struggling to find words here this morning. Uh, you, turn, you, you lift up the, the little deal on the faucet. I don't know what that thing's called. And water starts coming out of the sink. And as you pull that up, Pulling it up doesn't actually provide the water, right? There's a water source and there's pipes that are running it. God's providing all of that into your life. And by pulling up that faucet, you're just saying, God, I'm opening myself. Please fill me with yourself. I'm not going to fill myself with myself. Uh, guys, this morning, I just had a sweet time of prayer asking the Lord, like, Lord, please give me joy in my life today. I don't want to be tired. I don't want to be frustrated. I don't want to be anxious about all sorts of things coming to mind. I know you have those as well, uh, but these are habits of grace. They're so going back to God's word. Uh, what David Mathis would say, you, you hear God through his word, you have his ear through prayer, and you belong to his body through fellowship with other believers. And those habits of grace open us up to what God has for us. I hope that you'll go back to Ephesians 3 today, read it, and then just ask for God's supernatural strength. Open yourself up to his love and let his love fill you. You will be encouraged if you do that. It'll be well worth your time. Parkside, I hope you'll do that. Let me give you three quick updates as, uh, as I get ready to sign off here. There's a lot happening at Parkside these days. An exciting time to be at Parkside Bible Church. Number one, tonight, January 19th, 7 p.m., in the Zion Room is our first Christ and Cultural Conversations of this year. We'll be asking the question and answering it, is Christianity anti-science? Uh, I hope you'll come out. I hope you bring uh, some of your kids or a friend who doesn't know Jesus. Enter through door five. I'll see you at seven o'clock tonight. Second, tomorrow night, January 20th, that's Thursday of this week, uh, at 6.30, there's a art night. We've been working on those um, big murals through the book of Genesis. Uh, Brian Brown is doing a great job with that. Uh, that'll be in the Ignite Room tomorrow night at 6.30. Lastly, and most importantly of all of these, this coming Sunday is the send-off for the Fergusons. Uh, I hope you will plan to be there. We have a special service planned as we celebrate the opportunity to send missionaries out to take the gospel to Costa Rica and see churches planted. Uh, please be here this Sunday and, and bring a couple of friends with you. 
Uh, we'll also uh, have a little time to meet and greet and share with them some food right after the service. Uh, so you can have some snacks um, to hold you over as well. That's a lot happening this week, but I'm excited about everything God's doing. I'm excited to be your pastor. Parkside, I love you, and I look forward to seeing you soon. Have a great day.